Uh, tonight we have with us Isfandiar Basali, one of the original Prim Ashram boys uh, from Iran. He'll be here a couple of months. Asandiar, before you heard about the mayor or ashram, did you have any longing for God? قبل از اینکه شما درباره پرم اشرام بشنوین خدا رو می‌خواستین بشناسین هیچ چیزی داشتین که خدا رو بشناسین هیچ هیچ توجهی داشتین هیچ می‌خواستین که خدا رو بشناسین قبل از اینکه پرم اشرام اصلا بشنوین درباره قبل از اینکه بابا رو بشنوین نه قبلا من هیچ برای خدا و عرفان هیچ اطلاعی نداشتم وقتی که که خسرو افسری برای من تشریح کرد دیگه کاملا تشریح کرد که دنیا و کار دنیا همه هیچ در هیچی بگو استنگی نو هیچ اطلاعی نداشت که Before, um, before Mr. Afsari, who is um, the person that who went to Iran, I believe, um, to gather these boys, um, explained to him and told him what God is and all that. But before that, he didn't have any interest or anything about, you know, no longing. آیا می تواند خدا را ببینه فرمودند که بله من تشریح کرد بهشون گفتم یه خود بیشتر توضیح بده تا من بفرمم وقتی که توضیح داد گفت که شما سال های سال مرز خودتون دیوانی کنید که برای خودتون خون میکنی زحمت میکشی مهندس میشی یا دکتر میشی خانواده تشکیل میدی مثلا پول جمع میکنی آب کسب حیثیت آب رو میکنی دوست و آشنا به هم میزنی و یک روزی میاد که پیر و پرسوده میشی و خواه و ناخواه بایستی این بدن خاکی که این همه براش زحمت کشیدی بلکنی رو بری خواه البته بدن تو رو خواه میکنند و هیچ اطلاعی از خودتو نداری که کجا میبرند و چی تو میشی You know, yeah, that's right. um, he's saying that um, when talked about Baba to him, told him that yes, you could see God, he was very surprised. And um, he said that, um, well, if you want to go on like that, you can just have a normal life. You can... Uh, live and you know get uh, educated and get married and have home have land have this and that and one of these days you're gonna die and you're gonna drop this uh, gross body and die then in uh, <laughs> و این آقابت کس علم معاش میشه که شما کس میکنی و این is the gross world this is what you would do in the gross world if you don't want to do anything spiritual من همین که این کلمه را شنیدم اصلا خبری از عرفان و خدا هیچ نداشتم خب سنم چارده سال چارده سال چارده سال بیشتر را داشتم بعد کم کم اصلا من حالم دگرگون شد عوض شد دیگه کم کم نتونستم درس بخونم و همه اشکو بشه به فکر دیدن و خدا و رسیدن و به خدا بودم He says that at that time he was only 14 and this very surprised him and um, a little by a little he couldn't study anymore he couldn't do his normal things and he was just very anxious to see how he can see and find God بله بعدا من به کلی به اندازه فکرم طرف 
خدا رفته بود که اصلا به فکر بازی نبودم به فکر مثلا خوردن نبودم به فکر خوندن نبودم و همون سر کلاس می شستم و شب و روز خیلی ناراحت بودم و فکرم این بود که من بالاخره حال دیگه بسی برم عقب خدا و خدا رو پیدا کنم این که علم معاش اصلا دوست ندارم نمیخوام این تحصیل نمیخوام He couldn't study at all, and all the night and day he was just thinking how he could go and, uh, you know, stop what he was doing now, which is just to do the studying of the normal life. He would go to school, but he could not study. He would was uh, just longing to see God and to see how he can find God. چند روز این همینطور گذاشت تا که یه روز من تصمیم قطعی گرفتم که دیگه بایسی یک جای باشه که من خلوت باشم و هیچ کس به کار من کار نداشته باشه و من برم به بهترین جا برای من جنگل هستش که برم یه دوشه از جنگل بوشه میشم حد بلکه درخ بخورم و دیر تو جنگل این قدر عقب خدا باشم تا اینکه خدا رو پیدا کنم My longing was so much that um... At last, I, deter- I was determined to just go somewhere that nobody else would be. And I decided that I was uh, going to go to the jungle and eat whatever was there and um, just to think about God and to see Him. Now this is before he went to the school? This is... Yes, this was before Prayashram. The Prayashram wasn't even um, established yet. Yeah, that wasn't clear in the story. But yes, this was, this was pretty much before, before. Prayashram. Okay. okay. So, so you were, see, he was about um, between 12 and 14 years old then. Okay. Um, Okay, then a newspaper article was what came out, and the villagers were all talking and uh, about a school that was being formed, Maribad, and uh, and then uh, Baidul, which is the uncle of his of Spandier's mother, uh, was contacted. How did what what prompted that, and what happened? There? Um. میخوان بقیه داستان رو بگین بگین که چی شد که یک روزنامه اومد که میگفتن درباره باره پریشرام صحبت کردن و درباره آقا بیدول صحبت میکنیم حالا بازی برگردیم به ما اوکی هی سیز دارد هی هست تو فینش تو جنگل ستوری و دن هی کمس بک تو دارد من در سن سیزه سالگی بودم که به مدرسه میرفتم اون جایی که اجداد بابا اونجا زندگی می کردم خورمشا به نام خورمشا اونجا مدرسه می رفتم یه روز شدیدم که حضرت مهر بابا شبان روزی دایر کرده برای این که اطفال بی بزاعت را قبول می کنه و تا پنج سال گوایی متری بهشون داده می شه. <laughs> okay, he decided not to talk about that, I guess. <laughs> he, uh, he says that, to refer to your question, uh, he said that he was uh, about 13, 14, that um, uh, he would go to a village which is close to Yaz, it's called Khoram Shah, which is uh, Baba's ancestors come from there. And uh, there he heard um, that uh, there is a uh, school going to be established in India and um, the boys um, about his age could go there and um, these are the boys who did not have money and uh, were poor, would go there without any money and in five years they would get um, uh, the license, you know, six years uh, grade, whatever, it's, it's called metric in uh, India. Um, so that's where he heard about it. اون وقت من دیگه درس خوندن رو بل کردم رفتم حلو پدرم پدرم که جواب منفی داد که نه من نمیذارم که بری اونجا هم اما مادرم موافق بود من چند روز مدرسه نرفتم و خلاص آقا بیدون 
دوازده تا بچه ها رو جمع کرد و میخواست بره منم گفتم میرم و مادرم اجازه داد اما پدرم هم دیگه راضی شد و اجازه داد که منم همری بچه ها بیام شبان و روزی بابا When he heard that, he wouldn't go to school anymore. So after three, four days that he didn't go to school and he just wanted to go to India, um, he would go and tell his father, which he said definitely no, but his mom was kind of agreeing. So finally, um, after Mr. Bedol, um had gathered 12 people to go to India, uh, his father finally agreed and then he was to go also. <laughs> ما با بچه ها از خط طرف شیراز به بوشهر و از بوشهر پنج روز هم تو کشتی مایل سوار شدیم اومدیم هند و از هند هم ماه جون بود که اومدیم مهر آباد دن دی ونت فرام ساودن پارت آف ایران فرام شیراز تو بوشهر اند دن فرام دیر دی توک دی بوت دی شپ اند دی ونت تو دی ورند Uh, ocean for five days and then they went to India to Mehrabad. It was in June. Yeah. Okay, so we're on our way to school, right? Okay. Now, um, there were 14 boys from Iran? 14 boys. And you were the tallest, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it says that in there. I just want to. <laughs> um, now here's something that's not covered that I'm, I was interested in. When or how, or how and when, was the first time he saw Bob? Oh. ما چهارده تا بچه هایی که بودیم همون جلو اون الان هستش اونجا که محمد مست هستش حال این طرفیش اون طرف که ریل به میاد و میره اون جلو ایون همطور ما را ردیف کرد اون کوچیکه اول اون جلو نگرداشت که خسرو و خدایان باشن من که قدم بلندتر بود آخر آخر بودم آخر آخر سب بودم و منتظر بودم که بابا یکی دوتا اومدم با آقا بیدون صحبت میکردم من میگفتم این بابا هست با خودم میگفتم این بابا هست تا اینکه یکی که اومد دیدم ها بابا چاورتم تا را بشه بسا اومد گفتم ها حتما این بابا هست بابا خیلی نورانی و خیلی قیافش نورانی و شفاف و خیلی قشنگ بود اومد و دیدم ها آقا بیدون رفت پاش بوسید و یکی که بچه ها رو معرفی کرد و بابا هم یکی یکی نوازششون کرد و بغلشون کرد و اومد شد تا به من رسید به من که رسید گروشت رفت اوکی okay, when they got to uh, Mehrabad I guess in the lower Mehrabad where Muhammad Mas uh, resides right now um, uh, Mr. Beidol took all the 14 kids and they, uh, he uh, put them in a row for height and uh, you know for the height and then um, he was at the end of course because he was the tallest and um, there were different people who would come and he would think to himself that this is Baba then he would say no then he would say oh this is this might be Baba no so finally uh, this uh, man came uh, with a handkerchief around his uh, you know head and um, <laughs> Um, then um, and all of us and he was very his uh, face was very shi- you know shining and you know very beautiful radiant and he said yeah that must be Baba and uh, then he saw that Mr. Beidul went and uh, bowed down to him and then he introduced each one of the uh, uh, children and uh, he uh, em- uh, embraced each one of them and uh, he all the way to his turn when he got to his turn he just turned around and left وقتی که بابا من رو گذاشت و رفت من خیلی ناراحت شدم پیش خودم فکر کردم که من خیلی بچه بدی هستم که بابا من رو حتی محل نگذاشت خیلی ناراحت و گرفته شدم همینطور من دو یک روز دو روز یک هفته کشید تا که لباس های متعدل شکل برای ما درست شد و سر کلاس رفتیم 
Um, he was, of course, very upset at that time that Baba didn't, you know, notice him, didn't even say hi or nothing. And uh, he was very upset about that. And um, then they just went to the school and they, uh, they made them, each one of them, they had a uniform to wear. And they, they were just going to the school at that time. و رودای دیگه هم که بابا درشنش می اومد و می گرفتم تا می اومدم پای بابا رو ببوسم و اون پایش می کشید و می رفت. And each time after that when Baba would come for boys to have his darshan uh, when he, it, it got to his turn he would start to bow, bow down to his feet and he would just walk away and he wouldn't let him to bow down to his feet. می <laughs> گلستان سعدی بود که اون برای ما تشریف کرد حالا یادت نمونه اوکی ام سو هی واز ویری دیپرسد ابات دیس هول بات هی کودن دو انی تینگ ابات ایت هی هاد هی هاد تو تولریت ایت هی واز دیر واز نو وی فور هیم اوت اند ام سو فاینالی دی وود گو تو سکول ایوری دی اند ام ام دی وود فرست اف اول دی دی گیو دیم ا پری ام preschool test, I guess, what do you call them? And um, so every person would go to a different class for their background. And um, uh, he was uh, in a class, a Farsi class. And Kehosra um, Afsari, his teacher, uh, started to uh, talk about Golestan Saadi. Saadi is one of the Persian uh, poets. And uh, Golestan is one of their books, his books. So he started to talk about that. درس ما یک روز درس به ما داد باز هفته دیگه وقتی که درس ها دفعه به جایی رسید که انسان رسد آدمی به جایی که به جز خدا نبیند به نگر که تا چه حد است مکان آدمیت این تا این حرف به گوش من خورد من خیلی اینجا این یعنی این حرف ها به گوش نخورده بودن نمی دونستم گفتم آقای استاد شما لطفا انسان مگر, مگر میتونه به خدا برسه گفت بله اون گفتم پس بیشتر تشریف کن برای من که بهتر بفهمم اون هم انصافا خیلی درست تشریف کرد همینطوری که اول گفتم تشریف کرد و گفت و من هم دیگه کلی از خوندن درس دل سر شدم Okay. Um, at one of these lessons um, on Saadi, on uh, the poet, uh, he, said, uh, he, uh, he was reciting this um, uh, poem, uh, poem, uh, poem that says, um, look where man can get. He can get to, to a place that he sees nothing but God. Look at how man is high, or how uh, to the highest degree he can get. So at that moment, his, uh, Nasr Vesali said, uh, please explain to me more, please explain to me more. What does that mean? Can, can you see God? Can we find God? And um, uh, he explained to him very, you know, thoroughly about how... how human being can get um, can become god and see god ahabaratayeraytariqat و نه خوراک میخوردم نه خود میخواد وقتی میخوابیدم دیر لاف که بودم مثلا خوابم نمی بود همش بیدار بودم و گریه میکردم و فقط میخواستم خدا رو پیدا کنم هیچ فکری دیگر نداشتم نه بازی میخواستم بکنم نه خوراک بخورم نه درس بخونم هیچ یک روز سر کلاس که بودم 
تصمیم گرفتم که امشب وقتی که اونو که مستفز هستن که مواظب بچه ها هستن که شب مثلا ماری چیزی تو اتاق نه یا بچه ها رو نبن نه چرا خوشون جو بده وقتی که تو خواب میرن و چرتشو میزنن من جلوشون هستم و برم طرف جنگل So um, when he, he had that lesson, um, he was so uh, overwhelmed with it that he couldn't study anymore. Even in being in Premeshram, he couldn't study. He would go to the classes, but he could not you know, listen to the teacher. He would sleep, but he could not go to sleep, fall asleep. Um, um, he wouldn't eat, and he was very you know, desperate to find out about, all about God. So finally, one night, He decided that uh, when everybody would go to sleep, and even the people, the watch uh, guards would go to sleep uh, because they had uh, these watch people, watch persons that um, uh, would make sure that um, you know nothing would bother the uh, the children. Um, he thought maybe when they are going to sleep there, also he would just run away and go to the jungle. To have a fit, but I'm not as much a man as I would go to the jungle. این بود که یک وقتی اصلا اونجا تو سر کلاس که بودم هیچ خبر از درس کندم این سر و صدای بچه ها هیچ حالیم نبود هیچ نمیفهمیدم کی میاد کی میده چی میگن اصلا مثل اینکه یه اتاقی هستش که خلوت هست و من کتی توش نیستم من اون تو اتاق هستم تصادفا چشمم به استاد افتاد همینطور که تر کلاس نشسته بود کتاب سر در کتاب باز بود اما خب چیدی نمیتونستم بخونم فکرم ذکر خدا بود ذکرم فکر خدا بود همش تو همه افکار بودم تا یک وقتی دیدم که غزر افسری بلند رو تعظیم کرد منم دیدم او تعظیم کرد منم نگاه پشت سرم کردم دیدم بابا پشت سرم هم بایستده یک وقتی بابا همینطور من رو بحل کرد و گفت که چرا درس نمیخونی؟ Um, that, uh, that day that he decided the night he would, you know, uh, just walk away and go away, um, he was in the classroom and uh, the, the, the books were open, but he couldn't study. He couldn't concentrate on nothing. So all of a sudden he looks, he looks at the teacher and uh, he sees that the teacher is bowing down. So he says, what's going on? And he looks in the, uh, at the back of himself and he sees Baba behind himself. And Baba just embraces him and says, what happened? Why, why aren't you studying? Why don't you pay attention? I said, why don't you study? I said, I don't know if I can study. Why don't you study? I said, I don't know if I can study. I said, I don't know if I can study. I said, I don't know if I can study. I said, I don't know if I can study. I said, I don't know if I can study. I said, I don't know if I can study. گفتم نه پس چرا درس نمیخونی؟ دیگه مجبور شدم که بگم گفتم که من دیگه نمیتونم درس بخونم فقط فقط میخوام خدا رو ببینم و خدا رو پیدا کنم تا این گفتم بابا همتون مثل یه بچه کوچیک که وقت میکنم من رو وقت خودش تو کرد من رو بلند کرد تو وقت خودش مثل بچه همتون تو وقت خودش نگاه داشتی تقریبا یه ده دقیقه این دو بعد من رو بودش رو تمین و این دفعه دست من گرد بود تو اتاق کار خودش. So he asked him, why don't you pay attention? What's wrong with you? Uh, are you lonely? Are you... Uh, um, want to go back to your father and mother? Do you uh, miss them? Uh, is, this the, is it the... So he says no. He says, did anybody, any of the teachers, anybody, uh, workers here, did they say anything to you wrong that you are upset? He says, no. Did he, uh, and then he says, why? Do you miss your friends and relatives? He says, no. So he asked him, so what is it? What is it? So he had to say what it, it was in his mind. And he said that, I, I'm just longing for God. I just want to see God. I cannot pay attention to anything. So at this time, Baba uh, gave him a big hug and just hold him like a child in his arms for about 10 minutes. And... Um, Yes, he keeps going. Okay. More on? Yeah. Okay, you want to elaborate more on that? Okay. 
from there, yes. Yeah, okay, that's why I, I know. There's something more coming. That's why I was asking if he's going to do it. Right. Yeah. همجا دراز کشید و یه عده نازا کشید رو خودش به من گفت به من گفت جلو خودش به به من گفت جلو اونجا بشینم میشستم تقریبا بیش طریقه بابا همطور خوابیده بود و وقتی که بلند شد نشست و یه نگاهی همطور حسرتوار همطور به من کرد و مثل که خیلی متاسف بود خیلی مثل که دیر مرزی بیرون اومده رنگ روی بابا زرد شده بود وقتی که دیر این پرده بیرون اومد نشد و بعد با اشاره بلند شده به من گفت که عقب من بیا عقبش که رفتم اون طرف صدا کرد که اون گاریش بیارن و گاری آوردند و بعد بابا سوار شد و به من گفت که بیا سوار شد حالا من بالا رفتم و دیدم جای نشستن که نیستش بای صدام بای صدام هم تو دفعه دفعه باری گرفتم هم یه خورده کرا رفتم داشتم یه اقتدام بابا گفت بازو من رو بگیر من بازو رو گرفتم و تو اون بالا رفتم دیگه نه پرت نشدم و باری پرت نشدم کجا میرفتم؟ اون بالای میرشم اوکی سو بن هی gave him a hug, he embraced him. Uh, after 10 minutes, he just uh, held his hand and he took him to his, to his room. And there Baba lay down and put a sheet over him. And then um, he was there like that for about 20 minutes. After, and he was just sitting down beside his bed. And after that, he um, uh, woke up and his face was very pale. It was very like, um, he's like, yeah, Baba. He was, his uh, face was very pale. He was like, um, uh, he has, you know, gone through a very sad time or depressed time or sick. He's been sick. It's like the, the face of that person. And he tells him to come with him. So they go outside and he calls for his carriage. He had a carriage. I guess everybody knows. Okay, he's saying that he just remembering that um, when Baba gave him that hug, um, it was uh, so great that he forgive him about uh, not giving him, <laughs> letting him embrace him before. So it was so good that he just, uh, you know, didn't want anything more. It was great. Um, anyway, so uh, Baba asked for the carriage. It's, this is a carriage that is in the museum, I guess. And I guess everybody's seen it. Um, so they brought the carriage. Two people uh, take, take it up, up there. And Baba sat down and uh, told him to come and sit with him. So when um, Mr. Vesali got up, there was no room for him to sit. So he was just standing there. And when the carriage started, it was, um, and it was moving, he was falling off. So Baba told him to put his hands or, you know, over his arms and hold uh, his arms. So he did that, and they went up there to the Meir Ashram, and he didn't fall down. Baba <laughs> 
بابا فرمودند که خب این دست انداز را که دیدید اگر با روی من نداشتید چطور می شد پرت می شدید هست تو راه طریقت راه خدا که می خواهی پیش بری اگر کمک من شامل حالت نشه نمیتونی بری نمیتونی گذار کنی چون که خیلی راه طریق سخت هستش همینطور به من گفت و من تا به حال نمیدونستم که بابا این مهام داره خیلی خوشحال شدم که بابا حالا قبول کرده که من فرمون او ببرم او خدا نشونه من بده So when he, he got up there um, بابا Uh, told him that and he was safe. Baba told him, did you see how rocky the road was? And he said, yes. I mean, if I didn't fall on to you, I would have fallen off. So he says, yeah, the um, spiritual path is like that too. And if you don't want to, you know, if you want to um, get there, you want to uh, uh, see God, you have to hold on to me, to me and obey me. And he was very relieved at that time and he didn't know at, uh, up to that point point he didn't know that what a master Baba was or how, how spiritual Baba was and he was so happy that uh, he could help him and uh, he has found someone he has found a master that would uh, help him and, and sh- uh, show him God کور بود که خداوند چشم بینایی بهش بده منم هم طور خوشحال شدم که بابا تعهد کرده که من فرمونش ببرم او خدا به من نشون میده اما خب من نمیدونستم خودش خدا هستش so he was so happy at that time that baba has accepted him uh, for him to obey him and for uh, baba to show him god and uh, he was so happy was like a blind person finding sight It was that kind of a joy. And, um, but at the end he says that at that time he didn't know he was God himself. Do you want something else? you want to ask something else? Yes. 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 First plane, second plane, third plane. It's so interesting and exciting. I think this is the most important. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sandir was was had the experience of going to the subtle plane, and uh, he used some very uh, interesting descriptions uh, that come right. In fact, the words that he used uh, that you'll find in Sabs and Drabs come right out of God speaks. Uh, I mean, the key words that he uses to describe. What he went through, it's just, I mean, it's like, you know, word for word what Baba had said about the plane. So. It's basically saying that it's a very long story and it's like eight pages or nine pages. He has it written here and um, uh, he doesn't mind to say it now, but he's saying that it's, it's truth, it's not story. <laughs> so, but I... Um, so, we can have another begging in Java, my friend. Okay. No, she said to say the For very Baba, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go
من گفت که حالا دیگه هم امروز به بعد پدرت من، مادرت من، خدای تو من، پیامبر تو من و به من فکر بکن، دیگه به هیچ چیز دیگه فکر نکن و همه چیز تو من هستم دیگه هیچ ناراحتی نداشته باش و از امروز هم دیگه سکوت اختیار کن When the um, God of the you know, carriage and uh, Baba told him that, uh, he also told him that from this day on, um, I am your father, your mother, your everything, your God, your prophet, your everything. Don't think about anything else except me and don't worry about anything. Fikret, fikret, zikrman başa, zikret, fikrman başa. Just think about me. Uh, your praise should be me, and your uh, thoughts should be just me. Man ham abul kerdamo. Khulas man dige ab madrasa kharish chadam. Jo bolay mirasham faqat yeki man unge thana budam. Pre madrasa manu na bud. And uh, so he accepted, and from then on. He uh, didn't go to the school, to the pre ashram school anymore, but he was in the uh, upper hill and the pre ashram uh, area. He was the only person there. He was living up there. <laughs> بابارم یعنی دو تا عبرو ببینم و تمام فکرم رو غیافه شکل بابا باشه همینطور کار میکردم And uh, also he had told him, I forgot to say that he had told him uh, to observe silence from that day on uh, And um, so he was up there and بابا had told him how to think about God, concentrate on God He would tell him that the third eye is here And think that you see God, I mean you see me in your third eye up here. So he would tell him how to think about God. Okay. Uh, he said that the third eye opens here and um, uh, this is the uh, way or the path to the spiritual uh, truth. So and starts right here, the, the third eye. بله رای طریقت برای اون کسانی هستش که روحشون آمادگی داره برای رسیدن به هدف یعنی به مقصد خودشون و آن در وجود خودشون اون راه باز میشه و راهنمای اون راه هم به غیر از بابا من که کس دیگه نمیتونم بگم هستش هستش فقط باباست هی سیز دات سپیچیال پات ایس پور دی پیپول who are uh, who are prepared for it and spiritual path starts within them opens up in them and there is nobody else that he knows of uh, except baba that would be the guide to this spiritual path khulasa ma ha gudashta kam kam man mikhastam ma tamarkuz fikri bokonam یعنی اول مراقبه می کردم بعد می خواستم تمرکز فکری بکنم فکر من, من افتادم تو دست انداز فکری به اندازه شدید بود که دیگه اطلا نمی خواستم قیافه بابا رو ببینم اینقدر اول بابا رو دوست داشتم اون موقع دیگه از بابا فرار می کردم نمی خواستم بابا رو ببینم من می رفتم راه های اون پشت و چیز که بابا می دیدم از دور میان قایم می شدم بابا از اون طرف می گشت راه خودش دور می کردم می اومد جلو مرد می شده می رفت <laughs> okay, at this time after a while um, that he was trying to do all this um, uh, he started with just concentrating on God concentrating and Uh, all of a sudden, all these thoughts came to, the, to his mind. He couldn't um, get away with, uh, from all these thoughts that in his mind um, and uh, these mental things all the time. And he was, at the, at the beginning, he was such in love with Baba, but at that time, all these thoughts would come in his mind and he was so, didn't want to see even Baba. He was just uh, wanted to get away from him. He would go up there in the corners and hide, but uh, in a you know, very remote places, but Baba would uh, 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 distance his, his path and go on in front of him. Anyway, so. I was in the work and I 
نمیتونستم فکر خودم در اختیار خودم باشه تا اینکه یک روز بابا من تا حال شماره یک اونجایی که موزه هستش و همون گاری که بابا توش نمیشه اونجا هستش اون تو اتاق من را صدا کرد و با به اینجا بشین رفتم اونجا نشستم و گفت چه فکری برای من میکنی من روم نمیشد که بگم فوش بد میگم و بعد بیرا بد میگم روم نمیشد بگم گفتم هیچی گفت نه بگو خیلی تقریبا بیسی مرتبه ده تکرار کرد که بگو من نگفتم نگفتم تا این که خودش صفحه علب با که حسی ورداشت و به فارسی تمام فکرهای من که درباره باره میکنم یکی یکی انگو شوشت گذاشت و گفت و من هم خوندم بعد به من پرسید که فهمیدی یا نه گفتم نه گفت خوب فهمیدی <تصفيق> So, uh, so all this thought would come into, in his mind. He, he was just saying bad things about Baba. I mean, he didn't want to see him. He hated him. He was all these very bad thoughts, very bad words that would come to his mind about Baba. So one of these days, Baba asked him to come to, a, uh, to the, the room that is a museum right now and told him just, just to sit there. So he did, and he, Baba asked him, a lot of times, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? And he was so embarrassed that he wouldn't say it. He wouldn't say all these bad words, bad thoughts that he had about him. So after 20 times or 30 times that Baba asked him, what, do you, what are you thinking about me? And he wouldn't say because he was ashamed, he was embarrassed. So Baba um, took the uh, Farsi alphabet with the Farsi uh, letters on it. English? English. Farsi. Okay, uh, no, the same alphabet, the uh, English alphabet, but he spelled everything in Farsi. All these bad words that he said about, he was thinking about Baba, everything, and he had to uh, read it aloud. So he did that. But no funding, what is it? همه بابا به من گفت و من بابا از من خوشید فهم فهمیدی یا نه گفتم نه گفت خوب فهمیدی Then he asked him, did you understand it? He says no. He says no. But he says yes, you did. پیچه بابا خیلی ناراحت شد و من رو گذاشت و رب و رب بیرون رب بیرون و خلاصه بازم همین تو افکار بودم و خیلی ناراحتم کرده بود هر من دو سه ماهی همینطور فعالیت میکردم اما نمیتونستم افکار خودم را در اختیار خودم یعنی حواس و فکر خودم در اختیار خودم بیارم همینطور تا بابا, بابا نمیدیدم مانی نداشت وقتی بابا میدیدم خیال میکرد دیگه چی دیگه حتی خود به خود داره میگه من نمیگفتم اون داره میگه تو مرز من Okay, so after that instance, uh, incident, he was very ashamed, even got more, you know, in a bad, you know, thinking and thinking. He couldn't control his thought. And um, if he didn't see Baba, everything was okay. But as soon as he saw Baba, all these bad thoughts would come to him. It sounded like he was telling him all these things in his mind. So it was really bad. He was telling him all these things in his mind. So it was really bad. So. I said, I was thinking about my father, that I would go to a few months in the community. Maybe I would think about my thoughts, and I would go to a few months and go to my father. I would say, 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 I would say. Okay, this uh, went on for two, three months. And after that, um, he uh, thought to himself that maybe he, if he goes to the society, he goes outside of um, Mehrabad and Mehrazad, um, it would be okay and he would love Baba again. So he started to, uh, to uh, plan all his, uh, plan it, uh, you know, a way out. So he uh, thought that if he disobeys Baba, he lets him go. So he was planning to dis dis disobey Baba. اون وقت همون موقعی که بود, بود که بابا در اعتکاف بود که پنج ماه مطلع غذا نمیخورد فقط روده یه لیوان شیر و یه کمی هم آب جوشیده همینطور میخورد دیگه هیچ چیز نمیخورد تا یه پنج ماه اون موقع بود, بود که پاک روانم حالت بیهوشی بهش دست داد و مرحل روحانی برای پیش آمد کرد و 
پیشرفت ها سیدالی هم به همچنان یکی دیگه یکی دو تا دیگه هم به همچنان Uh, at this time, Baba was in seclusion. It was a five-month seclusion that he was in, and he wouldn't uh, take any food except um, some tea in the morning. Chai? Uh, one, one, um, one glass of milk in the morning and maybe uh, some tea or just hot water in the afternoon, and he wouldn't eat anything. And at this period was the time that Pak Rabon, who is the other... Um, um, Priyashram boy uh, when, uh, became unconscious uh, in Baba's love in the uh, spiritual path and um, uh, also there was another boy he also was uh, having these experiences. Um, اون وقت یکی به فارسی میگفت که همه بفهمن یکی به مارتی یکی به انگلیسی یکی به گوجاتی همینطور میگفتن که همه بفهمن و صحبات های روحانی تا یک ساعت بابا هر شب مردم جمع میشدن اونایی که مال کلاس بودن مال پرم اشم بودن مال مندلی ها بودن کارکنان بودن همه جمع میشدن اون وقت من نشسته بودم آقا بدر مثلا من اینجا نشسته بودم آقا بدر به من گفت اینجا بلند شد اینجا بشه من گوش ندادم همین باعث شد که خواست من نخواستم بیرون He was still thinking about his plan, so um, at that time Baba was in seclusion but he would give uh, uh, an hour um, talk every night it wasn't a talk, he would um, um, uh, say it on the alphabet uh, board I guess and they would translate it Uh, they would have a Persian session, a Marathi session, an English session for all the different people there. And everybody would gather and would listen. Uh, the mandalis, the workers, the teachers, the pre boards, whoever would come and would listen. So at that time, uh, he was sitting down somewhere and Mr. Beidul, who was his teacher, asked him to move from here to somewhere else and he disobeyed. <laughs> اسفندیار گوش پرف نمیده نفرمونه میکنه بابا با اشاره به من گفت اگر میخوای بدیم من هم همینطور سرم تکون دادم که بله با آقا بیدو لفتور داد که تمام وطیل من صندوق و ربی و لحاب و نمیدنم اینایی که دارم با پتو اینا ببندم و من رو تحویل داریم بده So as soon as he disobeyed uh, Mr. Vedul, he went to Baba and said that Svandiyar is doing that. So Baba asked him, do you want to leave? And he says, yes, like that he just, I don't know, <laughs> shakes his head. And Baba just orders for Mr. Vedul to go get everything, all his belongings, his luggage, his uh, whatever he had, the bedding and everything, and told him to go to his uncle um, and um, get a receipt that the boy is in his hand and is not at Merasham anymore. اون وقت من نگاه مبتدیدم من لاغابیدو همه یه وقتیلی من درست کرده و اومد و ترمن پنج ده دقیقه بیشتر نکشید اومد و به بابا گفت که وقتیلی هش حاضره بعد با اشاره گفت به خوب بره حالا آقابیدو به من میگه بلند چه بره درشن بابا بگیر که بریم من میخوام بلند بشم این پای من بیجون هست جفت پای من اطلا جون نداره که را برم نه که بگی خواب رفته اونطور نبود ها اصلا بیجون شده بود که مثل که این پا مال من نیستی بدون پا هستم من اعتنایی نکردم همطور نشسته بودم بعد بابا میدونست با اشاره به آقا بگیر بود که بیا اشفر ما آقا بگیر گیره به حالا من خوش گرفت و منو بلند کرد و برد پلی بابا گذاشت کوئی بابا منو بغل کرد و با اشاره گفت که من نمیخوای بری گفتم نه So um, he was just sitting there, so they um, um, gathered all his belongings about in five minutes and Mr. Beidul came back and uh, told Baba that everything is ready and Baba um, and, uh, and told him to go and get Baba's darshan so he can take him and um, as soon as he came to uh, uh, stand up, his feet were frozen, he couldn't even move them, he wasn't even, you know, sleep or anything, he was just free, uh, you know, frozen, he couldn't even move them at all. So. Um, uh, Baba, since Baba knew, he told him that uh, pick him up and bring him to me. So Mr. Vedul just picked him up 
and took him to Baba, and the Baba gave him a hug, and he says, um, uh, you don't want to go? This time he says, no. ش و So Baba gave him a hug and he told him, um, okay, I forgive you. And uh, at that time my ghost did there. So he all, all of a sudden his feet were fine. She just walked and he went he went away. And um, during the next four or five months, he, would, uh, he was staying there and he would do all those orders that Baba had told him and he would concentrate and think about Baba. And little by a little, he was able to control his thoughts. And uh, he was thinking that well, since Baba had said, I have forgive you, forgiven you, it was working. And it was really uh, about his thoughts. بله چهار پنج ما فعالیت کردم تا اینکه کم کم نظر لطف شامل حالم شد و کم کم میتونستم تمرکز فکر خودم در اختیار خودم باشه که مثلا بابام که میگیرم دیگه جروش بگیرم که دیگه هیچ فکر نیاد بعد بیرا و بابا نگه اون وقت دیگه من مثل مگسی که شیرینی میبینه طرف شیرینی میره هر روی که بابا میرفت آقا بابا میرفتم so in this uh, for five months, um, he was um, able, with Baba's blessing, able to control his thoughts. So he, even in presence of Baba, he would, um, you know, don't think about the bad words that he was thinking before, and he would control his thoughts. And uh, all of a sudden, he just wanted to be with Baba everywhere. Um, and uh, it was like a fly that likes to go around the, you know, sweet stuff. Uh, anywhere that Baba would go, he would follow. آها و بابا می رفتم و خلاصه طوری شده بودم که حالم خیلی خوب شده بود دیگه از اول خیلی بالاتر و بهتر اون وقت چطور شده بود اون راهی که من می خواستم به طرف اصل خودم برم در درون خودم موقع در اثر چی بود؟ در اثر این که تمرکزم کامل شد دیگه میتونستم که مثلا اونجا نشستم تمرکز بکنم هیچ فکر دیگه در اطراف من نیاد فقط یک فکر بابا که هستش همون باشه یک ساعت دو ساعت هر چی میخواستم میتونستم عمل را انجام بدم so i was feeling very fine very well and uh, but i was in much better state of mind and spiritual than I, that i was before and um, I could control my thoughts so well that um, I could concentrate on Baba's name for about two, three hours and just just think about Baba, nothing else. Yes, in the sense of Baba, I think that I was able to do it in my own way. In this way, I was able to do it in my own way. I was able to do it in my own way. I was able to do it فکرم وقتی تمرکز پیدا کرد در درون خودم دوست بدم این دفعه اون راهی که من میخواستم به طرف اصل خودم برم در درون خودم باز شد باز شد و اون روح هم دیگه کاملا دیگه تشخیص میدادم که من این دیگه این بدن نیستم بوهای خوش نورهای رنگ و رنگ در بابا که میدادم در اطراف بابا میزد دیگه همیشه مثلا تو شب دیگه خواب نداشتم اما دیر را خواهد بودم یه وقتی میدید بابا میمد بالا طرف من نشسته بودم بچه ها همه خواهد بودم بابا همطور که نشسته بودم دفت رو سر من میکشید و من, من را بغل میکرد و میرفت میگو همینطوری که کار میکنی همینطور خوبه همینجور بکن This concentration was so complete now and uh, the control over my mind was so complete that I felt that that path that I was looking for was starting to open up within me. And um, I was in a very state of joy and I was um, 
um, hearing this nice music and uh, smelling all these nice uh, um, uh, you know, odors. And um, when I was sleeping, all of a sudden I would see that Baba is uh, beside my bed and he would give me a you know, hug and say that continue, you're doing good, continue. And um, um, you're doing well. Um. دیگه هم تو بگیر و برو جلو دیگه بقیهش هم دیگه چی بگم اونا که دیگه گفتنی نیست که من هر چی بگم تعریفش کنم نمیتونم به بیان نمیاد البته اون موقع اون وقت یواش یواش چند روزی همه حال بودم و بابا همیشه شب ها که میشه همه شب تا حتی دوازه یک که میشه میومد بالای سرم من بیدار من که بیدار بودم تو اتاق که بودم همینطور تو پی اون سنگی که بود بیرون بابا رو میدیدم که بابا داره میاد میدیدم میگیدیدم اومد 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 میدیدم اومد بابا بالا سرم همینطور مشاهده میکردم و یک سرور و یک منظره خیلی با شکوه و قشنگی داشتم که یه دفعه روز همینجور در همین حال بودم که اون وقت بابا ما را تدا کرد. همه روزه بابا تدا نمیم که میپرسید. البته مندلی ها دورش نشسته بودم. فقط من یکی دوتا کلمه میگفتم. میگفت دیگه وقت بیشتر نگو. بیشتر دیگه من نمیگفتم. میگفت همینطوری که کار میکنی همینجور کار بکن. به همین طریق کار بکن. من کار میکردم و بابا هم همینطور میوم از سر به من میزد و رانم و یه من میکرد. Um. <laughs> no. um, so it, it, it was about 15 or more days that this, uh, uh, his state of mind his, um, uh, would, uh, would be. And um, um, at this time, he really felt that he's not this body. His, his soul is different from this body. And he was in such a very joyous state. And every night about uh, 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock, Baba would come to his bedside and he, of course, would be um, awake. And, uh, but he could imagine or he, would, he could see clearly Baba you know, getting up from his room and walking and walking and walking. I mean, he, he was uh, sleeping on his bed, but he could imagine this in his mind that Baba is coming to him. And then he would see that Baba you know, opened the door and he came to him. And, um, and every day... Uh, Baba would ask, you know, different people in front of them, uh, different uh, kids in front of the mandalis and everybody else, uh, what, how do you feel? And they, and when he started to say, I feel about this and how I feel, Baba would say, don't say anymore, don't say anymore. That's good and just continue. Was he coming in his physical body, Baba, at night? I me personally. خودش رو میمدن با یعنی بدن شخصی میمد بابا میمد پیشه تو yes he would but he would see him coming you know that um, خودش میمد خودش میمد yeah he would come himself physically but he would see him uh, in his mind that بابا was coming okay اون وقت افکار خودم کاملا دیگه در اختیار خودم بود که هیچ فکری دیگه نمیتونه تو مغز من بیاد فقط همون یکی بابا اما یه مدتی شد همینطور فکر میکردم یه روز تو فکر بودم که ممکن هستش که این من عقیده خودم هستش که این مراحل رو با شکوه دارم میبینم شاید رو کسی دیگه هم تمرکز بکنم ممکن هستش که اگر دیدم که همینطور هستش پس بابا چی دی نیستش همینجور فکر کردم و مشغول شدم تو روی یکی از مندلی ها با مطران یکی بواسط برم برم جی بود که مورید های اول اول بابا رو اون تمرکز کردم یه وقتی دیدم که مثل یک کوه تار... من مثل کوه نور جلوم بود اون دفعه یک کوه تاریکی جلوم بود تاریکی جلوم بود تاریک تاریک شدم So in one of his um, uh, concentration times, um, he thought to himself that maybe all, all of these things that I'm seeing, all of these things are uh, not because of Baba, but it's just because of me that I'm doing all this concentration, I'm getting so good at it. So he thought maybe I, I concentrate on someone else and see what happens. 
So he starts, instead of concentrating on Baba and thinking about Baba, he started to concentrate uh, on um, one of the mandalis, Bahramji. Bahramji. And um, all of a sudden, it, he, would, uh, he would always see a mountain of light when he was concentrating on, ba on Baba. At this time, he was seeing a mountain of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Right, <laughs> شکل بابا را در روبروی خودم همطور در قلب خودم دیدم و میدیدم اون وقت هم کم نه دیگه با هم در مرتبه تر اول همون حال اول پیدا کردم دیگه گفتم خب دیگه بعد دیگه این دیگه هیچ کس نمیخوام تم حال کنم دیگه بابا قبولش دارم سو افتر سو افتر در این انسیدنت هی جسد بابا از در ریال تینگ و um, but he started again concentrating on Baba and uh, all those good things came to him again and um, uh, so he thought that he never go back you know doubting that it was Baba all the time not you know himself and he said the expression in Persian which is very hard to translate so <laughs> forgive me not to say <laughs> You want to ask any other questions? Now, did you want to go on with this uh, this line? I mean, as far as the experience? Okay, well, I'd like to ask a question referring to uh, the experiences that he went through. Um, how does he feel now? What Did they end after the school? Did they go on? How did, are they continuing now? That kind of thing. I'm going اون تجربیاتی،, تجربیاتی که داشتین بعد از پری اشرام بعد از گرد پیش بابا اومدین تموم شد هنوز دارین چی؟ اون خیلیه اون تجربیات حالا حالا خیلیه باقیه حالا که هنوز always there and he hasn't even finished it yet so and um, it's always there میخوان تا آباس اونجا که میریم بگرد we stayed in the Sahabas <laughs> he will talk about it more in Sahabas his other experiences well, we were, are running out of time. Is there any, uh, we can't take a lot of questions, but does anyone have a really hot burning question that, that comes to mind? Well, you said it was for questions, why can't we ask questions? Because we're running out of time. So does anyone have a question? Raise your hand. Well, what, what, what uh, includes that spiritual training? What be some of the examples of the spiritual training that you received from Mayor Baba? If for some time, um, in um, um, training, آموزشایی که بابا بتون دادن، آموزشای روحانی که بابا بتون دادن، یه مقداری از اونا برامون بگی. چه آموزشایی رو می‌تونی به شما دادن؟ می‌خوام کار می‌کنم یا نمی‌کنم. Are you going to do it or not? Yeah. It's asking. Yeah. I کار می‌کنم من می‌گم. He was said that you will do it. Man, Avarisham Goftam, Kaoliatimikaran, Tamarkozababa, Kam he says um, that um, this third eye that it's uh, Baba said that it's right here you have to concentrate on that to uh, it's like a mirror 
and it's very dirty right now. So you have to, uh, little by little, try to clear it out. When it becomes a mirror, you can see yourself in it. مثل که من کار کردم باید کار بکنن اگر پر تری بکنن فایده نداره you can't just take it like that you have to work the same way that he did and don't take it like that don't, don't take it lightly okay remember that he put everything aside and said I want to find God بگو یه دکتر یا مهندف میخوان بشن به میساله های سال باید من به خودشون دیوانه کنن جگر به خودشون خون کنن تا اینکه دکتر بشن اون وقت هم دخل آخره هیچ شایده نداره He says if uh, you think about physical world if you want, you want to become an engineer or a doctor you have to so many years you have to think and uh, you know study and study make your brain go you know <laughs> but uh, at the end still you will get nowhere this is the truth this is the truth he says any other questions no does his wife have this concentration does your wife have the same concentration as you have before some what she did خانواده‌تون و بچه‌هاتون همون تمرکز دارن که شما دارین؟ نه. 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 من من حالا علی اکبر نیستش که اینجا چی دارن تعبیر خوام بکنه. یه شب خواب می‌دیدم که در ایران اونجا درخت های خیلی با بلندی بود و آفتاب و شب تاریک حالا ما تو خواب می دیدم لای شاخه های درخت آفتاب افتاده رو بمین من تو خواب می گفتم امروز چقدر این آفتاب پر نوره نور چقدر قبی هستش رفتم تو آفتاب نگاه کنم دم این که بابا هستش و آسمون اول آفتاب بابا هستش این نور مالو بابا هستش که رو بمین تابیده او ما به شیرین صدا کردم گفتم بیا ببین بیا ببین بابا الان به غروب میکنه اومد و هرچی نگاه کرد ندید من بهش گفتم که تو نور آفتاب نگاه کن میبینی اونم نگاه کرد گفت نه ندیدم بهش بعد دیگه دیدم که نمیتونه ببینه من همینطور که بابا رو میدیدم یکو اون نور بابا که رو دمین افتاده بود یک برقی زد تو اون نور یک برق خیلی قوی زد که خود بابا مثل که رو آسامون بود اومد اینجا حاضر شد اون وقت من پای بابا رو بوسیدم به شیرینم گفتم پای بابا رو ببوسه بوسید و بابا گفتم بابا تو سالا کجا بودی من خیلی ناراحتی بودم برای شما خیلی ناراحتی کشیدم خیلی ناراحت بودم تو کجا بودی کجا رفته بودی بابا یه نگاهی به من کرد و هیچ چیز حاب من نداره Yeah, he says, Alo Baba's here, he would uh, say what the meaning of this dream that he had once <laughs> would be. But um, he, he dreamt once, um, uh, he had his wife, of course, he was married at the time. He dreamt that um, there was this, uh, there was this um, jungle, like trees everywhere, and there was a very, uh, very bright light uh, between these trees was on the, on the ground. So uh, in his dream, he was thinking to himself, wow, what a beautiful day it is. So he goes um, uh, toward that light and he looks up and he sees Baba in the sun. He was like, Baba is the sun. So he calls his wife uh, and says, come, come, come and look. His wife is uh, named Shirin. Come, Shirin, and look. So uh, he go- she goes there and uh, he sa- she says, what, what? And uh, he uh, says, look, look up there. Baba is, uh, you know, the sun. So she, he, uh, she looks. And she, did, she doesn't see anything. But he tells him, he, he insists, look at, look at the sun itself, Baba is there. And uh, she still couldn't see. But the light was so um, uh, bright that all of a sudden it was like a flash came on and Baba appeared in front of them. So uh, he went and got Darshan, bowed down to him, and he also told uh, uh, Shirin to come and do the same thing. And... Uh, So he asked him, uh, he asked Baba, where have you been? I was so worrying. I missed you. Where have you been? 
بعدن از خواب جمعیت زیادی هم اطراف بابا جمع شده بودند و از خواب بیدار شدم شیرین رو تدا کردم شیرین بابا رو دیدی گفت نه سو هی اسک هم بابا where have you been where have you been سو بابا دیده نانسر but he looked at him just just looked at him and all of a sudden a lot of people was um, a lot of crowd was coming and all of a sudden he, he wakes up and he calls um, uh, his wife شیرین Did you see Baba? Did you see Baba? She said no. That was a dream. I was a dream too. Where's Scott at? Any any other last? Just a reminder to everyone that uh, Mr. Vasali is going to speak here at the center again on July 20th. So if you miss right. him at the Sahabas, he will be back here. Yeah. And you can see, it's, uh, there's a lot of material. I mean, we've just barely touched the surface. There's so much here uh, from previous uh, recordings uh, about Mr. Vasali, and uh, we just got started. So. Um, he wants to make something clear that um, even when he went up there and um, uh, this, uh, to, uh, to what we say Priyashram or he went to uh, Mehrabad, um, the school itself wasn't there. And um, so he went even before the school even ever opened. Because it means that um, they weren't teaching spiritual things at the time. They were just teaching the normal uh, lessons, normal uh, things. And after that, little by little, they started to um, have classes in spiritual, uh, spirituality too. Would you thank Mr. Vasali for coming tonight? Thank you for coming to us today. I am very happy that if you do it, I am always from Iran. 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 What do you think? Our soul and our soul are all one. I am always from Iran. I am always from Iran. He says that um, one of the, the reason I have come here is um, to see all of you do things in, about Baba, um, concentrate on Baba, work, work on it, work on uh, these uh, experiences, and all of us are one, so if I see you individually do uh, work on Baba, it's like I'm working on Baba. So I'm very happy about that. من تمام شد دیگه اگر من هم باید بگم خب حرف باشی باید بگم نگرد 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 نگرد